Hustle, Loyalty, and Challenges The Story of John Cena's US Open Challenges Well, welcome back again and this is Mike Rato and well, we're here with another topic and this time while well, we're going to a specific, well, a specific topic on our wrestling topics and for today while well, we're going to highlight the John Cena US Open Challenge which he actually challenged those challengers who wanted a shot at his United States title. So how did this begin? What are the benefits? Who are the one who challenges? And well, what happened? Well, in 2015, WWE put John Cena in a mid-guard slash upper role, which while well, he was sidelined there instead of being in the main event scene. Well, in WrestleMania, the main event was actually booked as Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar and the World Championship by that time is busy. So your number one franchise player, John Cena, while at that time, while he was not going to do anything, while he was put now to a program with Rusev, while Alexander Rusev in that time, which while they fought at WrestleMania. And well, during that match, while Rusev actually entered in a tank. So yeah, the buildup of that also well, John Cena fighting Rusev, well, Rusev defeating John Cena via submission, though it is not clean, and well, you know, well, foreigner versus US type of storyline, which the foreigner heel champion is the US champion and all of those stuff. Well, after her, his defeat at Fastlane, while John Cena challenged for the title yet again, and well, this actually punched his ticket to WrestleMania. As I told you, the World Championship is busy, the Intercontinental Championship is defended in a ladder match, the Unrated Giant Memorial, well, it is full of other superstars. While they created the story about this, Rusev entered in a tank, the finish was, Rusev pushing Lana and then the AA and then John Cena becoming the US champion. And then the challenge opened in the next night. So what is exactly the US Open challenge? Well, a person who is actually accepting John Cena's challenge to ever wants a shot at his United States title. And at the first night, well, it is Dean Ambrose, which is actually... Well, the first trial for this challenge, well, they also made, I think, also time type of this in the Intercontinental Championship after with Daniel Bryan. I'm not sure if it actually happened, but Arthur tried to do the same thing in 2019, which he obviously didn't have a long run with the US Open title challenge because, well, he thinks that John Cena is his childhood re- hero and etc. Well, Wade Barrett also challenged for the title going by the time the bad news Barrett gimmick or well yeah, which Wade Barrett was defeated by John Cena. A debuting Sami Zayn was actually introduced by Bret Hart, which while well, in the same match while well, Sami Zayn injured himself, I think during his entrance, and while well, they created still an excellent match, Cesaro challenging also for the title, which remarkably he did twice. Well, also we have guys like Kevin Owens, like Stardust, the former Cody Rhodes, the f- well, the former, the former Stardust, which well, yeah, Xavier Woods, Big E, well, so on and so forth, Neville, and those guys. So. After all of these challenges, well, what did it help? Well, it helped the United States Championship by the time, well, because by the time also the US title has become an afterthought somehow, well, because people are actually invested in the World Championship scene, and somehow people are sometimes interested with the Intercontinental Championship title scene, and with this challenges what it well it actually exposes the talent for all of their abilities their wrestling abilities which made the crowd support them 
guys like Zack Ryder who actually accepted the challenge even though well people absolutely forgotten him somehow during the past few months well guys like John Cena who actually elevated this talent though it's not well people can say it's somehow burial somehow exposure somehow pushing them somehow putting them TV time well I'm not sure what is your opinion about it but yeah and this US Open challenges will it help some of the talent to be known worldwide especially with Sami Zayn debuting from NXT going to a larger audience though a lot of people know him absolutely will it also to involve him in a more crowd and yeah even Kane which well during the time he was still corporate and people well they didn't mind him that much during his corporate Kane role well there's a lot of challenges and well that's it for his US Open challenge well people once again this type of format with a new champion and yeah we are still waiting for a guy who will absolutely do this yet again with the expense of helping their co-workers be exposed on the live television helping them shine and all of those stuff in a time being and with this title well at least people are having tv time and while well, it's actually exciting to see new things and while well, also in this us open title challenge we saw the return of alberto del rio which while well, he won the title of cena and we also see seth rollins becoming the double champion even that's for a month so yeah they even had a label match between the NXT champion and the United States champion with Kevin Owens even stepping on the title just to make a statement during his debut. Well, even Kevin Owens defeated John Cena on a match. So he had the US Open Challenge benefits a lot of superstars and well, yeah. Even though people have their different perspective, well, I'm sure that there's a lot of people who actually misses this type of challenges. Even I think Seamus, by this time, he is trying to resurrect this challenge somehow. I'm not sure if they will roll with it. But yeah, there's guys like Seamus and Arthur who did this. Also defending to a bestseller, well, in the name of Dolph Ziggler, who actually sells moves like it was actually super devastating so yeah there's a lot of guys who had tv time because of this us open challenges and well during even in his time while well, he had this program with Seth Rollins as I told you which John Cena was actually injured during his time with Seth Rollins feud in which they actually build up for their SummerSlam match and all of those stuff well after his defeat in 2015 and well the US title well it was carried by Del Rio and well things actually got sought again with the US title well him actually becoming a part of the League of Nations and again the United States title it was actually put on random feuds with Jack Swagger with those guys even Kalisto winning it well, it doesn't help the title much and then well for John Cena's case well he didn't actually look back to the US title yet again or ask for a rematch for it well I think he asked for a rematch but after that well in 2016 well he was injured and then while well, he was drafted to Smackdown well the Smackdown was the land of opportunity and then after that well John Cena was putting over talent with the name of AJ Styles and a lot of guys on SmackDown which well he takes losses from 2016 up to the current time 2016 with AJ Styles 2017 with a lot of superstars even 2020 with The Fiend putting him over at Wrestlemania so yeah and for the US title it was redesigned during 
MVP and Apollo Crews rivalry and it was carried now by Sheamus after winning it from Riddle at WrestleMania. So yeah, this is the US Open Challenge well highlights and well my opinions towards it. I hope you all like this video. Comment down below, share, subscribe, 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 and and peace. Stay safe. Take care, everyone. Thank you, and have a nice day.